Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 7, Leçon B. So we saw previously in the previous lesson, Leçon A, it was les, les adverbes, so uh, especially the place or where you should put the adverbs in the sentences or before verbs and adjectives. But then in this lesson, we'll try to focus on what we call les adverbes de manière and especially the way to construct them okay so the rule goes like if you've got or if you want to construct uh, an adverb de manière first you've got to know well the adjective at the masculine form then you will make it or modify it and put it at the feminine form and after that you will add m e n t and when you add this m e n t at the end of your feminine form of the adjective then you will get the adverb okay so it sounds quite easy it is not that difficult okay but then we'll have a look so we'll take a first example easy one and this is parfait okay parfait means perfect in english okay it's not that far so we've got here this adjective and it's at the masculine form if we put the same adjective at the feminine form well the rule normally we, we saw that previously goes like you put this final e uh, you add this final e uh, at the end of your adjective to get the feminine form of course we've got some exceptions but then that's the normal rule okay and so based on this form as we saw you just add m e n t and then you get your adverb parfaitement Okay, in English it would be perfectly, okay? So, parfait, then parfait, parfaitement, all right? So, we'll see a few examples, and then the first one is franc, okay? So, in some cases, they will be a bit strange because the feminine will not follow the rule that we saw, but then, I mean, I, I told you that in advance, you know, most of them uh, follow this rule, but then, of course, we've got exceptions, okay? But then, so, franc, Franche, so it's the feminine form, the adjective, and then franchement, you get the adverb here. Okay, so for each adjective, I will put the English translation here at the beginning. All right, do you don't pronounce the final x, douce, feminine form, doucement, adverb, parfait, parfaite, parfaitement. Certain, certaine, certainement. Joyeux, joyeuse, joyeusement. All right, so let's repeat them one more time. Franc, franche, franchement. Doux, douce, doucement. Parfait, parfaite, parfaitement. Certain, certaine, certainement. Joyeux. Joyeuse, joyeusement. Okay, let's continue the list. Heureux, heureuse, heureusement. Spécial, spécial, spécialement. Clair, clair, clairement. Vif, vive, vivement. Sportif, Sportive, sportivement. Okay, you can read them one more time. Heureux, heureuse, heureusement. Spécial, spécial, spécialement. Clair, clair, clairement. Vif, vive, vivement. Sportif, sportive, sportivement. Okay, and then we can see some subgroups. Okay, so it does mean that. Here you will have the ending of your adjective at the masculine form, then here the ending of the adjective at the feminine form, and here you've got the ending of your adverb. So it takes back this ending here, e accent grave r e, and then you add this m e n t. Okay, so this subgroup follow the rule that if it ends with e r, then the feminine form will be e accent grave. It goes like that. R -E. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. Entier, entière, entièrement. Premier, première, premièrement.
premièrement, dernier, dernière, dernièrement, léger, légère, légèrement. Ok? One more time. Entier, entière, entièrement, premier, première, premièrement, dernier, dernière, dernièrement, léger, légère, légèrement. Ok? And then, uh, second, uh, second, sorry, subgroup. Uh, so if it ends with ET, then it will go like E accent grave, TE, and then for the adverb, E accent grave, TE, and you add this MENT here. Ok? Let's see. Secret, secrète, secrètement. Okay, so I tend to insist a little bit on it just to make you hear the difference between the masculine. Secret, secrète. Okay, you're pronouncing the T. Okay. Complet, complète, complètement. Discret, discrète, discrètement. Okay, so one more time. Secret, secrète, secrètement. Complet, complète, complètement. Discret, discrète, discrètement. Okay, so let's see another subgroup. So actually you've got two things here. The first one, so if your adjective is ending with ENT, then it will be transformed for the adverb, like E, M, M, E, N, T. And if it ends with A, N, T, it will be transformed like A, M, M, E, N, T. Okay, but then I did put them in the same group because phonetically, and that's the important thing, phonetically you will pronounce them the same way. So you will pronounce AMANT and here it will be the same, you will pronounce amant. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Patient. And then, patiemment. So as I told you, even if you write it E-M-M-E-N-T, phonetically it goes like amant. Patiemment. All right. Récent. Same rule. Récemment. 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 Okay. Then, Suffisant, suffisamment, and the last example, élégant, élégamment. All right, so let's repeat them one more time. Patient, patiemment, récent, récemment, suffisant, suffisamment, élégant, élégamment. Okay, and another subgroup, so if your adjective is ending with EL, then feminine form of the adjective will be E double L E and then the adverb E double L E M E N T. Okay. Réel, réellement. Okay, so remember when you get this E here and then it's followed by two consonants and then they are the same consonant like here, uh, the sound of the E changes and it's open, it's a. So that's the reason why you've got this réel, okay? Réellement, all right? Then manuel, manuel, manuellement. Annuel, annuel, annuellement. Naturel, naturel, naturellement. Okay, one more time. Réel, réel, réellement. Manuel, manuel, manuellement. Annuel, annuel, annuellement. Naturel, naturel, naturellement. So now, with the previous les lesson, sorry, and this one, you can master les adverbes, or at least you can be quite gifted with them. And then if you want to check for the previous lessons and uh, the next lesson, you can find them on youtube.com slash imagier, or then the website is here, imagier.net. Au revoir.